you know, if Roy's going to be able to get in, Bayo's disadvantage is not amazing, and she is a super tall character that is also light, so that is going to play to Roy's advantage, but Geist is so good at edgeguarding with Bayo, and his confirms are so on point, so they're going to have to play some tight, sorry, <laughs> tight, tight neutral. Um, we're getting into it now. Indeed, and I'm sure that Geist has a lot of matchup experience against Roy. Roy is a very popular character, especially with the really big rise of like players like Goblin and uh, Cola as well. So a lot of people picking up Roy in that respect. And this is going to be really interesting, because you don't see too many Bayonetta players. And uh, especially because uh, Bayonetta has such a bad light, you know, a lot of people don't like the character, especially from her roots in Smash 4. But this is a different Bayonetta. This while the combos are very similar, they don't kill as easily. So it's just a matter of getting those edge guards like oh, you said before. Like that. Yeah, something just like that. But unfortunately, you're going to keep that second jump in there, making it back onto stage currently. And it's still pretty even between both players, all things considered. Ooh, oh, that was a great, great read from Vince. But Geist is able to pop the shield in time, and you know he's taking a sigh of relief. Guess that soft up there and a strong up there. We see Cola and Goblin do it all the time. It's really good for Roy. Absolutely. It was fantastic setup for conditioning there, but it's going to really hurt uh, whenever uh, a potential like misread coming from Geist is, might potentially happen here. Because uh, at this point, like you're at 144%, percent you almost at full rage, but the problem is Bayonetta doesn't have really any kill cards. All she really has is a read on smash attacks and then, for the most part, back air. That's yep. pretty much about it that she has for kill moves. So you're in a pretty bad position and just by choosing Bayonetta because you don't have as many kill options as Roy does. Yeah, and that jump from ledge up air is going to take uh, uh, Vince's, or Geist's first stock. I don't know why I took him so long to think of his name. Um, but yeah, so that's definitely a struggle. Roy is going to have a much easier time killing that Bayo will. That's sort of Bayo's main problem in this game along with, you know, being tall combo food. Um, but Geist is really creative and good at finding those kills. I saw him in doubles going for forward airs into up tilt followed by back air. Up tilt back air is one of the main true kill confirms that Bayonetta does have. Although I think Roy's probably at a percent at this point. Oh, most certainly. 150%. There's no way you're going to get any normal kill confirms at this point. It's just a matter of finding the back air, and we've been seeing it this whole entire time. Geist is trying so hard to get a back air hit here at some point, but we're going to see the multi-jab, and, and that it. should definitely kill at that percent. And now we have to see some amazing Bayonetta combos out of Geist here in order to get this back into even. Yeah, and that forward air might be the start of it, although misses the follow-up. Um, that Bayonetta rapid jab was buffed in one of the recent patches. I think it was the... Azia patch, I want to say, um, making it more of a good kill move, especially at the ledge. Um, and now Geist, you know, picking up a good 70% of damage after being down 80%. Um, but again, how do you find the kill? Exactly. While you're getting these good combos, how can you find that kill? And that's going to be something Geist is seeming to have a lot of trouble with currently. But if they're able to keep themselves alive for as long as possible here, having 120% on you is not the end of the world, but it's not favorable either. Using that up air to get rid of the Roy from ledge there. Perfect, perfect setup there. And was still able to make it back on the stage even with that. Oh, went for a, went for a sort of read there. Fortunately, that's not being able to get it. Yeah, and Bayo's shield looking small, which is both bad for shield bag potential and shield poke potential. And nice, or forward air rather, um, from Vince to take that stock. Bayo going down for the edge guard, but Vince using that early up E that we saw against Sam doing so good to prevent the edge guard. Absolutely. And so far, it's just a matter of, like, how are you going to approach this? Are you going to approach this with a grab? Oh, we see the spike attempt there. Unfortunately, not going to land it. I'm not sure if that two frames. I don't think I didn't think that it did. I think Geist was trying to threaten Vince trying to hold down. Oh, that falling upper into back air is so strong. Vince up, you know, just 40% away from laughing Geist. Uh, and that's certainly going to kill that side B is so, so strong. Vince playing incredibly. So Geist uh, looked all right. I just think Vince looks so much more comfortable. And Geist, you know, was able to get some combos here and there, but killing is just so tricky. Yeah, and that's the hardest thing with Bayonetta. We've been saying it this entire time so far. How can you find the kill? Especially because of how fast Roy is as a yes, character. Absolutely. You have to get a kill somewhere, somehow, but that's way easier said than done. I hope we're not going to 3D land. I certainly hope not, too.
going to town and city. Um, so Geist does have a Wario, but I think he's primarily been going Bayonetta lately, and I don't think we're going to see the Wario come out. Yeah, just going straight to the Bayo. He only lost one game. There are definitely adjustments that you can make. Just playing neutral, a little bit more care careful. Geist was kind of going in with those AB ABKs that um, Bayo side beat a lot, and Roy was really punishing them easily, both in the air and on the ground. So I think trying to take a more uh, tempered approach, going for, yeah, those tilt attacks and for, as your combo starter is going to be a little bit better. Absolutely, and then the rising years in a fair as well, being a good combo starter here, we see it there. Unfortunately, Roy being a fastballer, it's not going to connect him into another set of uh, rising forward airs, but that's totally fine. Still puts you in a good position, however, uh, going for that up special. Oh, didn't get to land that one because the eye on the platform. Yeah, that's something I'm noticing too from guys. It's just great platform movement as well. But unfortunately, the platforms are no longer there. But Vince is doing a really good job DIing out of these up specials. Yeah, he's. I think he's probably SDIing down, which is the classic way to get out of the Bayo Witch Twist. Um, and it really messes. It, it messes with their combo game in Smash 4, and it's certainly going to mess with it in this game. Um, so really good stuff to Vince, and it's got to hurt guys to not be able to as easily get your confirms. Nice bats within to avoid the kill confirm off of the jab forward air. Oh, and that's unfortunate that Vince just slightly outspacing that ABK, as we were saying, which he's done such a good job of punishing so far. Um, up a full 100% right now. This is such a bad spot to be in right now for guys, but looking for the back air, we immediately saw it there. Uh, this is just a very uh, precarious spot to be in currently for guys, but it's easily able to be possible. But oh, tried to go a little deep for that one. Unfortunately, didn't get anything out of it. Yeah. That could have been really bad, but they were very lucky to get out of it. Yeah, without I, any trouble. I am super. I really like that edge guard attempt from guys because. That is going to be a win condition. If you're able to edge guard Roy, then you're going to do well. And Vince, you know, we saw we said it so much during the Sam set. He's done so good at avoiding that. Oh, but nice, nice uh, witch time and into the guns. And Roy is certainly not going to come back from that. You guys take the first stop after being down so big. Absolutely, I really like that cheat. I want to see it again. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, that's the first time we've seen him pull that witch time on Roy's recovery, and I didn't consider it as an option, but it's definitely really good. Vince going for an early parry, gonna get hit by the full ABK. Yeah, I feel like I've been seeing that attempt to go for the witch time, or yeah, witch time off stage uh, a couple times before, but unfortunately wasn't able to land it until now. But this is a bad spot to be at, using all of your all of your tools at the, up so high like that, trying to make it back on the platform. That could have been oh, really bad, but Vince you're gone. Might... No, oh, just kidding. Town and city. And Town and City, exactly. But still, I mean, after being down 49% to 158, Geist is on his way to lapping Vincent percent on Vince's second stop. All right, we're looking for some sort of edge guard here to get the kill. Geist has been building up damage so well. Really, the adjustments that he's made of finding those combo starters has been so good, and he's really smothered Roy for the past minute or so. But now, back to even stocks. Roy can kill you so early. So you've got to be careful as guys. Indeed, and right now, just waiting for Vince to come in, and that's pretty smart. However, it's a little bit risky too. Roy, okay. once again, a very fast character, and at 157, you're at max rage. Gets the tech off the side of the stage like that. Oh, careful, guys. Oh, man. Both of them going for those air dodges down to like uh, readjust their positioning. I really love to see it, and it's something that you're starting to see more in competitive Smash Ultimate. Nice back air to close out the stock, but uh, Vince on this side has done a great job. And once again, that punish on the ABK by the F Smash, and we are even. Indeed, and now we're seeing the neutral air combos into the forward air. And uh, once again, now we got a little bit of a combo setup coming in. Oh, oh my no. gosh, is this gonna do it? No, not just yet. The taxi platform doesn't quite take, uh, doesn't quite complete the trip for Vince to the blast zone, but uh, it was a, it put Geist in an incredible position and has, they have certainly capitalized on it, taking Vince up to 100%. Yeah, Vince telling the taxi driver there, hey, my stop is here, I'm good to go. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Um, now Vince at the ledge, down 80% uh, or 70% rather. Nice, great tomahawk grab. Such a good option with Roy because you always expect Roy to land with an aerial, and when he doesn't, you know you're just gonna get grabbed into a nice finishing setup for the Roy. Um, both of them at kill percent certainly right now. Absolutely, we're looking for the back air here. We're looking for a potential four air off of stage. 
but it has to be pretty far off the stage. We see the forward throw. We see uh, we see her blasters coming out. Yeah, that was a great, great recovery option on the other side, but that time got a little antsy with the force smash from Vince, and Geist is going to even it up 1-1. One, one. we got another game. Absolutely. And that's that was beautiful spacing there at mm -hmm. that last second there. We saw it. Uh, we saw Vince going for, uh, I think that was maybe a forward smash there, yep. but unfortunately it didn't connect because of the, the quick short hop there, mm -hmm. barely missing, and then going for that back air, taking that stock, beautiful spacing and awareness from guys. It Absolutely. just goes to show you the difference in skill level between both players. Mm -hmm. And even though it's small, that is enough to really show like this is going to be good. Absolutely. And once again, that conditioning battle right before that where Geist was able to get the kill. Uh, Vince went for another early neutral getup where Geist tried to back air and roll away. Um, and Vince, you know, just shielded it, didn't get a huge punish on it. But then I think Vince was trying to read a similar option where he quickly neutral get up and tried to do a dash forward smash to cover a landing aerial or uh, roll. But Geist, so smart, able to get the back air. 1-1, one, one, uh, Vince thinking long and hard about this counter pick. Yeah, this counter pick means everything at this point we don't know where they're gonna go but it's really important to have this counter pick on lock because if if you don't have the right stage picked for this matchup in particular roy might easily be able to take it and are we going to battlefield that would be an interesting pick roy and bayo can both certainly ladder you to the top of the stage i think we are uh so let's see well just thinking about it Battlefield will be an explos explosive pick, to be sure. Yeah, what, what kind of music? Tekken, great music. Um, my personal favorite, uh, Final Fantasy VII music is my favorite in this Stop game, personally, but Tekken, nothing to see that either. Absolutely, I have so many different music tastes as a music <laughs> producer, so yep. I don't have an absolute favorite series, but like I'm known for my Pokemon stuff, so we'll go with Pokemon that. Pokemon's great, yeah. Um, but getting onto it, and guys rocking the Bayo one Bayonetta, my personal favorite skin for her. Um, so these platforms are going to be big for both players. It's going to give them both extra areas to land, um, which is going to help with some of those kill confirms that we saw earlier. Guys taking uh, Vince to the skies for 99%. And that wish uh, bats within into the back air. And look at that. Ooh, nice. Well, I not mean, enough, though. Not enough. It was good avoidance from Vince, but guys put too many options out there. That was a 30 second stop. Absolutely. And at this point, you've got so much pressure on Vince right now. Losing that first stock so quickly like that, this makes it a lot more scary because this was your counter pick, Vince, and you got trashed that first stock, unfortunately. So it's all a matter of hopefully this was the the right counter pick to go with after all, because otherwise, right now, it's not looking good. These platforms are doing so much more for Geist than Vince, because Vince was previously getting so much off of just good spacing on the ground, those down tilts, those jabs. But those platforms give Bayo an extra space to land on those afterburner kicks, which Vince was doing so good at punishing before. Um, and I mean, Roy can get stuff on the platform for sure, but Geist is getting so much more. The forward into up smash, this is looking like a wash. Absolutely. Roy got thrown in the washing machine at the launching mat. Had to put in seven quarters to get it to over 30 minutes because he's going to need a power wash here. Absolutely. Bayo playing so well right now. This bout I was questioning the battlefield counter pick before because, like I was saying, Bayo gets such good combos off it. And I, unfortunately for Vince, it looks like we were right. Yeah, I, I remember saying in the beginning before this game started, it was all up to this counter pick, and so far it has been all up to this counter pick currently. This guy has just been running away with them, and they don't have to commit as much. They have two full stock advantage at this point, so they don't really have to worry about really trying to go in as hard as possible. You can sit down and relax, try to find the whatever opening you can, and just 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 chill. Yeah, and finally, guys himself a little too much the unsafe afterburner kick gonna get punished by jab back here but you're still up two stocks to one with vince pretty close to kill percent so you can't be feeling too bad at all what a great parry on the uh nair attempt from vince all right we see the bat within once again yeah and so now you know guys really doesn't have to approach here you know you can just punish roy's options with those up keys those forward airs um and eventually you know even if Bayo doesn't have a ton of ama like amazing kill setups, like Geist has found those backers every time. He's even found some smash attacks, um, and even a throw off stage is gonna threaten 
Ultimates. Uh, I think a Porter at the ledge might kill. There's that up tilt back there, true combo, gonna take it. Geist with amazing adjustments from that game one and just completely destroys Vince in that game three. Great showing from Vince, gonna drop down to loser's bracket um, to play for top eight. And I will check against two, but uh, for now, Geist moves on to top eight winner's side.